Hello and welcome. We're talking with Chief Economist Patrick Lowe about the 2012 trade statistics and the WTO's projections for 2013. Patrick, welcome. Thank you. Tell us about trade expansion in 2012. Well, we've done better in other years than we did last year. The rate at the end of the year was a volume growth of 2%. Now this compares quite unfavorably with the previous year where we recorded 5.2% and that 5.2% for, for 2011 is much closer to the long run average trade growth rate uh, which is somewhere between 5 and 5.5%, closer to 5.5%. So that gives you some sense of, of how low the, uh, the, the growth rate was in 2012. Well, another interesting uh, in indicator is that normally if you take a long term view income growth is probably about half of trade growth. This year, income growth and trade growth were almost the same. So we hope that that pattern will be reversed in, in, in 2013 and going forward from there. What are the key factors that led to trade expansion being depressed in this way? The major factor is Europe. If we, we you know, we count intra-European intra trade as part of world trade. If we were to take intra-European trade out of the calculation, the number wouldn't be 2%, it would be over 3%. That gives you some sense of the significance of, of Europe in this whole picture. I think another factor is that the, while the United States did better, the United States hasn't quite got to the point where we can say it's, it's turnaround and take off time. I think in Asia it's been less than straightforward, in, particularly in terms of the Japanese-Chinese situation where Japanese trade ex, uh, contracted by 11% in dollar terms over the year, which contrasts with a contraction for Japanese trade of only 1% for the rest of the world. So that is clearly a factor too. Um, I think that it's interesting to see how well um, the Africans have done. Uh, but of course you have to put that in the, con in the context of what happened to Africa in 2011. African trade is the highest in the region for 2012 at 6%. But in 2011 they were looking at a minus 8.5 rate. But that was because of Libya and Egypt. Nevertheless, I think Africa is looking good. In, in all sorts of dimensions, I think Africa is getting onto some kind of growth path. Now we're talking about the continent as a whole. Obviously there are different stories for different parts mm -hmm. of uh, of Africa. Mm -hmm. the, um, the, the, the case for Latin America, I think Latin America was hit indirectly, if you like, by the situation in the industrial countries by reduced demand for the imports of commodities from Asia, which of course is a reflection of, the of a reduction in import demand from the, from the uh, major industrial economies. I, I wanted to ask you, how have these global developments impacted commodity prices overall? Commodity prices is an interesting situation because when it comes to oil, 2012 recorded the highest average uh, dollar per barrel rate ever at $105. At the same time, just about every other commodity recorded negative uh, growth rates in double digits in, in current dollar terms. So it's, it's a very mixed picture. The dollar increase in, in, uh, in, in oil prices is a bit of a mystery. We, we're still working on trying to understand what really is behind that. But I think the, the uh, reduced commodity prices for everything else and these sharp drops is really uh, uh, attributable to re reduced demand of the kind that we just were talking about. Is there an exchange rate factor there as well? I think there is an exchange rate factor, but I, I think that the main point is really demand. And what are the prospects for 2013? When we look at 2013, we are reasonably optimistic in terms of uh, a bit of an improvement. We hope that, the, that we're, we're forecasting right now 3.3% growth for, for 2013 in volume terms. But in some sense, it's a bit more of the same. By the time 2014 comes along, we are we're making a preliminary forecast for, 20, for about 5.2%, 5.3%. Um, so going back to a, a trend rate, mm -hmm. uh, but for 2013, I think that the similar sort of f uh, influences are going to be at work. We hope that Europe will show some improvement. Um, we think that uh, the United States might show better performance than in than in 2012. Um, so, so when you look at it overall, it, it's looking more promising. There is a, some, something of a downside risk in terms of geopolitical tensions in Asia and in um, 
and in the Middle East. But by and large, we hope that it will be the beginning of a, of a trend which will look even better in 2014. Patrick Lowe, thank you very much. Thank and you. Thanks to you.